Good evening, Richard. Janella. Thanks for joining us from the 680 Newsroom. Uh, so my husband always marvels at how fast I can type on my smartphone, uh, but uh, apparently there is some even faster typers out there who can put me to shame. Yeah, and uh, congratulations if you could do it, because I don't find that I'm necessarily very proficient uh, at it, uh, Janella. But a new report finds that the, the speed gap between typing on our mobile phone and typing on your old school desktop computer is narrowing and quickly. Now, most of us type around 35 to 65 words per minute on a physical desktop keyboard. But now most people as well average 38 words per minute on their smartphone. So only about 25% slower than using a regular keyboard. Janela, according to the study, 74% of people use two thumbs, and if you do that, you can achieve the best speeds, they say, uh, whereas using a single index finger or a, uh, a just a single thumb is kind of the slowest way to go about I, it. What's your technique? I do kind of both. I do a thumb on one hand and a finger on the other. Is that weird? I do that, too. Yeah, no, I do <laughs> that, too. But I have an unfair advantage because I use my phone a lot for this job to take notes when you go to pressers to write stories on, so I've gotten pretty proficient at typing I always try it. and speed it up by using the talk-to-text feature. But oh, then I it do just, that, it, too. It, it comes out all garbled and wrong half the time. They're yeah. not they're not proficient. As at long that as yet. I understand it, for exactly. if it's for me, then it's fine. Okay, lots of ways to consume alcohol, but it seems like whiskey lovers may have a new one. I want to show you this is wild. This is true. Glenn Livet, that a very famous whiskey company. It has this new way to, to consume its scotch. Cocktail pods, there they are, Janella. Whoa. The edible capsules are made from seaweed. Who they needs a glass? Exactly. Uh, they contain Three quarters of a shot of 40 proof scotch. Glenn Livett says it's the perfect, quote, flavor explosion experience when you bite into it. And it points out what you just said. The company says there's no need for a glass, no need for ice, no need for a cocktail stirrer. So there's maybe an environmental, uh, you know, impact here. Um, some, though, criticized this. They said perhaps this will ruin the image that Glenn Livett has of scotch purists, point out, Janella, uh, that it's meant to be sipped, not necessarily. Eaten, it's not so uh, like classy that. if you're popping a pod. Not as quite as classy as, you know, having your, your snifter in front of you, I don't think. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's get a little serious with this next topic. Pope Francis is weighing a possible change to the rules governing the Catholic Church. Yeah, I did find this quite interesting indeed. Pope uh, Francis, this past Sunday, opened a three-week meeting of bishops. It's expected to include, Janelle, a, a contentious debate on ordaining married men, something the Catholic Church doesn't currently allow. During Mass at St. Peter's Basilica over the weekend, the Pope spoke of the importance that the that church leaders not be bogged down by, quote, the status quo. So many people thought he might have been alluding to that in his sermon. The reason behind this potential move is a lack of priests, particularly in South America. 85% of the villages in the Amazon region can't celebrate Mass because they don't have enough priests, so ordaining married wow. men would be one solution to that. So, you know, this is a Pope that has um, uh, sparked a lot of change and talked about a lot of change, and maybe this is uh, another one. Wow, that is a big change. We'll see how that is uh, received. Thanks so much for joining Thanks, us. Thanks,